I'm Jackie and welcome to my home. I moved in here six years ago. Uh, it was, I'd moved around a lot and I moved in here to be closer to my grandparents. So I'm very lucky that my Yayambapu live on level one and someone needed to be close because they were getting a little bit older. And I guess for me, it was a really crazy time in my life. I was about to open my first business, which a cafe, Miss Bliss in West End. So it was go, go, go. I packed up my old house, moved in here, and within a few weeks, I had opened a cafe. Was working 12 hour days, seven days a week for like three or four months straight. So it was a house to me. It was somewhere I came and slept, I ate. You know, it was, it, I never got to do it how I wanted to do it. And it just sort of stayed like that for a while. And in 2020, I decided to sell my business and turn my house into a home, which I'm very, very grateful for. So I come from a big Greek family. I have lots of cousins, lots of nephews and nieces, aunties, uncles, and we're all one big happy family, which is great. So I wanted to create a home where I can host all my family. I'm also a hospitality consultant. So after selling my business, I decided to go into consulting. I do recipe development for clients. I create menus, I do content creation. So how could I maximize my house or what I have to be able to perform better for work, so be more productive, um, and also be able to have a better kitchen. So my old kitchen had quite a skinny island bench, and in that island bench, right smack bang in the center, was a sink that whenever you wash dishes, it would go all over the floor. And it was like my pet hate. It was also my grandma's pet hate, because she would always get angry at me and be like, one day, Jackie, you have to renovate the kitchen and make sure you don't spill water everywhere. And I had this section next to the kitchen that was meant to be a dining room that couldn't even fit a four person table. So if I'm eating by myself, I'm always at the bench if I'm home. But when I have people over, it's an event. I like to entertain. So I have lots of people over and a four person table isn't gonna make it. So I decided one day, once after I sold my cafe, that I was gonna renovate my kitchen, which includes my dining and my lounge room as well, because it's one big, open, beautiful area very lucky to be here um, and yeah I needed to create a home create a space where I could share all this with everyone so moving in here I created this incredible relationship with my young couple and it was amazing and I think the best thing I've ever done is move into this unit to be you know three stories above them and I'm in and out of their house all the time um, unfortunately in 2020 my grandfather passed away but it created this beautiful relationship with my Yaya. And I am so lucky and so blessed to be able to have that with her. So we see each other two, three times a day. Um, she rings me and asks me to come fix her TV or yells at me. Twice a week, all the cousins in the area, my brother and sister, we all go and eat lunch at her house. And I've started asking her to teach me dishes. I learned to cook from my grandparents and my mom. And it is such a blessing to be able to continue that relationship with her and have such a strong relationship with her. And I hope that she will come join me in my kitchen now and teach me some of the things. So I'm hoping this year at Easter, I learn flowers, which are a Cypriot um, tradition that we make every year. And you need lots of bench space. And it usually, now that all of the grandkids are getting older, it's now gonna be my cousins, my aunties, and we all stand around the kitchen and cook and just enjoy it. So I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most of creating my dream kitchen is creating memories. So this is part one of my three-part story of turning my house into a home. I cannot wait to share this journey with you.